right. Welcome back, everybody, to the Weekly Insider. I am by myself. Uh, the holiday weekend is super busy. Couldn't really find time to film on Tyler this, Tyler this week, but still going to bring you guys an episode uh, every Friday. Try to get them out. Um, but for those watching, Merry Christmas. Hope you guys have a wonderful holiday season. And obviously, we'll see you next week for the New Year's. But, um, but yeah, let's hop right into Week 16. Real quick, though, Week 15, we had... Um, Austo picks number one. Congrats, Austin. You had 13 games correct, which is insane. And then uh, I, d I did all right. I had 11 pick correctly, which is pretty good. And then Tyler also had 11 pick correctly. So, uh, you know, we're, we're still hanging in there um, as far as points, total points. Uh, I am eight games back, though, behind Tyler. Um, but... Still got a few more games. We also go into the playoffs a little bit, even though the playoffs is a little different. So, but any, with, anyways, we'll hop right into week 16. Uh, first things first, we have the 49ers at the Tennessee Titans. Uh, I'm going to go with the 49ers here. They are on a hot streak. Their uh, offense is firing on all cylinders. Their defense is playing well. And the Titans are kind of just... I think after they they don't really have an identity anymore, um, and I think if Tannehill gets a little pressure, he's he struggles as a quarterback. So I'm going with the 49ers here. Tyler also chose the 49ers in this one. All right, so moving on, we have the green or yeah the uh, the Browns at the Green Bay Packers. I'm going with the Packers here. Probably the best team in the NFL right now, if not top three. They are just playing well all around the board, defense and offense. I'm going with them. Browns are just struggling, and I don't think the Browns are going to make the playoffs. I think this is when they get eliminated. Um, actually, I don't know if they'll necessarily be eliminated, but they'll be a long shot for the playoffs. Um, but this is a must win for the Browns, so if they're going to do it, they got to do it this week. But I'm going with Green Bay, and so is Tyler. Tyler's also going with Green Bay. Um... We got the Colts at the Car the bleh, Carolina, the Colts at the Cardinals. Cardinals coming off of a devastating loss to the the Lions, um, but I think the I mean regardless of that, I don't think that takes away from the Cardinals. I still think they're a good team, but they're a little overrated. Um, but the Colts look really good. I'm taking the Colts in this one against the Cardinals, and I believe. Tyler is also taking the Colts in this one against the Cardinals. Yeah, the Colts are on fire, so they're probably going to keep the momentum rolling. Next game, we got the Lions at the Falcons. <laughs> God, it's so crazy. The Falcons are a freaking playoff team right now, or they're they're uh, they have potential to pl make the playoffs. Um, Lions got their second win. I really don't think I don't see them winning any other game. There's only two weeks left in the season, so I'm going to go with the Falcons here. And I believe, yep, Tyler's going with the Falcons as well. I feel like at some point Matt Ryan is going to have to start clicking. And, I don't know, that offense, the, just the Falcons in general. It's just This is a weird game because they're both two non-very good teams. Um, but, moving on, we got the Ravens at the Bengals. Ooh, it's a this is going to be a good one. If I don't think, I don't know if Lamar is going to be back. And even if he is... I don't think it changes that much because Huntley played really well. Huntley played extremely well in Lamar Jackson's place. And I just like Joe Burrow and the Bengals way more. They're the same record. So um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with the Bengals here. I think the Bengals win it. And I believe, yep, Tyler chose the Bengals as well. So right now, 5-for-5 five five on games. Me and Tyler picked the same. Um, but, yeah, let's move on. I just think the Bengals are a better team than the Ravens right now. The Ravens are really banged up, which is unfortunate, but... Just overall, I think the Bengals are better. Um, moving on, we got the Rams at the Vikings. Whew. This is a must win for the Vikings. I say it every freaking week, it feels like. I'm going to go with the Vikings here. Uh, I don't know why. I just I feel like they have to... They they literally need to win this game to like really secure a playoff spot or at least be comfortable. Um, yeah, I'm going with the Vikings here, man. Uh... Tyler did go with the Rams. This is our first game that we picked differently. So, yeah. I mean, obviously, I, I think the Rams are the better team. But I think it's one of those games where Kirk Cousins, depending on which Kirk Cousins shows up, could be an interesting one. So, I'm going with the Vikings here. Um, 
Ooh, this is a good one. My Buffalo Bills. Bills Mafia at New England. Oh, man. We lost a tough loss at home against New England. I went to that game. It was a Monday night game. But the Bills are bouncing back, and they're winning it. The Bills are going to take the lead in the AFC East. Or at least be tied with the the Patriots at nine and six. Bills are taking this one, and Tyler also chose the Bills. Okay. Uh, next game we got the Jaguars at the Jets. This is an awful game. I literally have like this is just an interesting one because of the rookie quarterbacks. I think it's interesting to see the two rookie quarterbacks, Lawrence and Wilson, go at it. Um, they both have looked terrible, but also they're in not the best situation. So. I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with the Jets here. I think the Jets win this game. Um, I don't really have faith in either of these teams, but yeah, uh, Tyler is going with the Jags. So, okay, going with the Jags. This is a 50-50 for me personally. I think it's just a coin toss on who who is gonna win this game. So, uh, moving on, we got the Giants at the Eagles. Eagles are gonna win this game. They got a. This is their chance to like solidify themselves as a playoff team. The Giants just cannot do anything on offense and defense. I mean, their defense has been playing all right, but you can't their defense can't carry that offense. So, um Sorry, let's reword that. Their defense is not good enough to carry that offense. Um their offense just doesn't do doesn't produce anything. It feels like uh, I don't know, the Giants just Need to scrap this year and look forward to the next year at least. So, yeah, Eagles. Tyler's going with the Eagles as well. Um, Buccaneers at the Carolina Panthers. Buccaneers bounce back week. They got to win this one. They lost to the Saints. They put up nine points against the Saints. I expect Tom Brady to come out and throw for, like, a minimum of 350 yards. 350 yards. He is going to be without Godwin and possibly Evans. Um but there's no way Brady drops back-to-back losses and against a Carolina team that's just not that good. But I expect a big game from the Buccaneers. Uh, and Tyler is also going with the Buccaneers, so pretty easy pick. Moving on, we got the Chargers at the Texans. Not much to say. The Texans are the Texans, and the Chargers are looking good again. So I'm going to go with the Chargers here, and Tyler is also going with the Chargers. Uh, moving on, we got the Bears at the Seahawks. The Bears have been eliminated from any playoff contention, so that this game really has no... Well, the, the Bears could be a spoiler, so if they beat the Seahawks, the Seahawks will probably be eliminated from the playoffs. Um, but I can't see them losing to the Bears, so I'm going to go with the Seahawks here. Uh, yep, and Tyler went with the Seahawks as well. All right, now we got an interesting matchup between the Steelers and the Kansas City Chiefs. This is interesting because Tyreek Hill has COVID or is on the COVID list and Travis Kelsey is on the COVID list. Two big weapons for Patrick Mahomes and without them, their offense is basically nothing. And I don't, I mean, I don't mean nothing, but like, I want, I I want to, I wish I knew the percentage, but it's probably like 60 or 70%. It could even be more. 70% of the offense gets run through Kelsey and Hill. So, um... They're losing two big weapons if they both don't play. And I think the Steelers defense has been playing pretty well. Um, that offense is hit or miss in my opinion. So despite all that, I'm still going I'm going with the Steelers. I'm going with the Steelers here against the Kansas City Chiefs. It's a big game for them, especially because that division in the AFC North is very close. Um, I'm going with the Steelers here. And so is Tyler. Um, he did say if Kelsey, if he knew Kelsey or Hill were playing, he would pick them or this, he would pick the chiefs, but because we don't have any news about them, we're going with the Steelers. Um, moving on, we got the Broncos at the Raiders, both seven and seven teams, both in the same division. Um, this is a big game for both of them. Wow. Um, I think I'm going to lean towards the Raiders here. I think the Raiders take this one. Um, the Broncos are going to be without Teddy Bridgewater and I can't add Drew Locke's just not a good quarterback so I'm going with the Raiders here in a must win game and uh Tyler's also going with the Raiders all right let's move on we got our Sunday night matchup between the Washington football team and the Dallas Cowboys um I believe the Cowboys can clinch the division with a win this week 
Yeah, pretty sure. Yeah, they clinched the division with a win this week against Washington, and I don't know if Heineke's going to be 100%, but even if he was, I still take, I'm still taking the Cowboys in this one. Cowboys are going to win this matchup most likely, unless they just choke, which they can, they have done. Um, but yeah, Tyler's also going with the, uh, the Dallas Cowboys as well. So that brings us to our Monday night matchup. We got the Dolphins at the Saints. Saints seven and seven, somehow still a playoff team. And Miami has just won six straight, which is insane. So, um, I'm going to go with the Miami Dolphins. I think they're just the better team. Their defense is playing better. Uh, that offense looks a little better. Um, although I don't really care for Tua, he's been playing solid. Um, I'm not expecting him to look like, you know, Tom Brady, but, or, you know, um, he's not expected to be a top five quarterback in the AFC or NFL for that matter. But, um, point is he's playing well. He's winning games. That defense is obviously helping a lot. Um, I think the, I think the Dolphins win this game on a Monday night and Tyler is also going with the Dolphins. So yeah, interesting week. Um, week 15 was probably the worst fantasy week that we've seen in recent history. Um, but yeah, nonetheless, that'll conclude week 16 picks. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you next week. Me and Tyler will be back. Um, enjoy your holidays. Enjoy Christmas. Hope you guys have a good one. Safe travels and all that fun stuff. Thank you for watching. See you next week.